Hey, this is a video about how to make a centrophone at home using simple materials that you might even consider garbage. Now this is inspired by the awesome footage of Nicholas Vunier and I've seen his plans and other people's plans. I thought I'd share my idea, which I did after seeing his video. Let me show you how. All you need is some fishing line or other rope, a couple of straps, some tape, and we'll get started. So here's the phone I'm going to use. The nice thing with this design is it can be used interchangeably with different phones of different sizes without needing to be changed. Uh, so basically, you just need some tape, and you want to cut two pieces that are about the length of your phone, uh, leaving room for the camera. Here I'm just using a Samsung phone. And after you've cut those, you'll want to take some fishing line. And you want to use two pieces of fishing line. Each one should probably be uh, about 15 feet. If you want to have a six foot long length of cord, double it and then add some more. And basically we're going to lay a loop on the tape there. And another loop on the tape at the other end. It's really tricky not to get everything all tangled up doing this. And I'm attaching the middle of each piece of line to the tape. And I'm going to come with another piece of tape to lock it in place. And I really put that crooked, but you can make it better. Then trim off the rough edges so it's not sticky. Okay, so now we've got a piece of tape <clears throat> that we can attach to our phone. I want to use the big camera, so I'm going to put the tape side on the screen. And actually, something else I'm going to do is cut some holes so that I can operate the screen better with the phone in place. So let's just cut a big panel there. <clears throat> So now we have a harness, we'll put that right on the face of the phone, like so. And now we just have to attach it to the phone. To do that I'm going to use two Velcro straps. You could also use any kind of string, just make loops um, attached with two uh, double fisherman's knots. That will give you a way to adjust it and make it tight. This is what holds the harness to the phone, so you want to make sure this is on there really tight. That's why the Velcro works well. And the other strap. Now we have a harness, which is going to hold on our phone. And as you can see now, if I hold these four lines, and you're going to want to make these about six feet long and you just want to center them so that the camera hangs flat. I also recommend slanting it slightly if you see downward so that when you're holding it over your head the camera is going to point down slightly. Okay so basically now I've got my lines ready and I'm just going to tie them off. So I would do this at a full six feet but basically I'm just going to tie a loop knot right there and tie that off giving me a knot to hold on to. Okay, so that's our basic harness. You can also um, assemble the tape on a piece of paper or cardboard to make it a little stiffer. But the nice thing is it's really easy to take on and off with these straps or if you're using string. So the last thing we need is to uh, add a tail so that it doesn't spin around when we swing it. So for that we're going to use a plastic bag from the store and if we're swinging the camera uh, right-handed it's going to go counterclockwise which means if we're holding this away from us we need the tail to come off the right side so we'll put it down and I'm going to take the bag just make it into a streamer shape lay it down on piece of tape 
And basically I just need to tape this in place now. Stabilize it from the other side. So now we've got our harness, which will go on the screen side of the camera like that. Put our straps back on. Okay, now our streamer, when we spin the phone, our streamer will hang off the right side and that's going to keep the phone pointing this direction and not spinning. Uh, when you're filming you may find in your test flights, uh, so these aren't even, so probably this one is going to pull harder and it's going to tilt the camera a little bit this way, so you can fix that by just cutting off a little bit of the streamer trial and error till you get a nice vertical flight. Now that you have this complete, you've got the harness on the phone's screen face, four cords coming off it, which you'll hold in your hand, and can adjust so that the angle is slightly downward facing. Something you are going to need here, which I don't have, is a wide angle lens, otherwise you get footage that's a bit too close up. Now I'll show you some footage from my test runs. Thank you.